What's going on everybody? Yes, it is true. I did 100 sit-ups a day for 30 days. For a whole entire month, I did 100 sit-ups every single day, didn't miss a beat. So in today's video, I'm going to talk to you about why you should and shouldn't do sit-ups. All right, so kicking it right off, let's talk about sit-ups. Sit-ups is probably one of the most boring, most basic abdominal exercises you can do. A lot of us do not do sit-ups simply because there are better abdominal exercises to perform in order to better develop your abdominal area. And if you're not familiar with the abdominal area, it is your stomach. A lot of us just say stomach, belly fat, and everything like that, but that is your abdominal area, your abdominal section. So breaking down into just three basic parts, you have your upper, your lower, and your oblique. Leaks. So it's very important that we understand what the abdominal section is because that is going to determine whether or not we should be performing the sit-up or we should do other exercises in order to develop the six-pack. So the reason why I did 100 sit-ups a day for 30 days is simply because I wanted to see being at a higher body fat if it was actually possible to build a six-pack just doing 100 sit-ups every single day. You may not know what overtraining is, but when you target the same body part every single day, that is what we call overtraining. You are training entirely too much simply because you aren't giving your body the optimal rest it needs in order to build and develop. So normally you will want to give yourself 24 to 48 hours after training a certain body part, give it that rest it needs, and then target it again two days later. This is to ensure that you are fully rested because a rested muscle is a muscle that will grow. Now, if we're simply talking about abdominal exercises to build a six pack, I would not recommend just doing sit-ups. Sit-ups is a basic movement. There are a lot of different abdominal exercises like leg raises, you have Russian twists, you have plank movements for your core. There's a lot of different exercises that are going to help and ensure that you build a better six pack. It's not just all about the sit up when it comes to building a six pack. You want to target all areas of your abdominal section in order to really get the development it needs. So for 30 days, I was switching it up. I wouldn't just attack 100 sit ups. I would attack, let's say 10 leg raises, 10 Russian twists, 10 reverse crunches. I will switch it up, switch up my abdominal exercises, and I also will play around with the rep ranges to make sure I'm attacking the hypertrophy of the whole training and making sure I'm not just getting real stagnant and content with cranking out these 100 reps back to back. So for you, I would recommend, and this could be broken down into your training level, whether you're a beginner, whether you're intermediate or advanced, but I would recommend that you do not sit and crank out 100 sit-ups back to back. I would recommend you break it up into sets, doing different exercises, targeting different areas, and giving your abs the work it needs. Now, to talk about a quicker way to get a six pack, while you're doing these 100 sit-ups or 100 abdominal exercises, let's just say that, you wanna make sure that you cut your calories back. You wanna be in a caloric deficit. In order to break off the fat on our body, we have to be in a caloric deficit. We have to be burning the energy and there's no way around that. So if you crank out 100 repetitions of a sit-up or any abdominal exercise and you continue to eat like crap and you are at a high body fat, you will not burn off the fat on your abs and your six pack will not show. So I did also take on a caloric deficit and jump into a diet phase, a cutting phase, and where I was eating anywhere from 2,000 to 2,300 calories a day. This was allowing me to, at the same time while I was building up my abdominal area, building up those muscles with that 100 sit-ups, I was also burning off some fat at the same time. So with burning calories, you also wanna do some cardio. Whether it's lifts, whether it's hit, you still need to incorporate some form of cardio. It doesn't have to be long, but you do wanna make sure that, again, you are burning the calories off of your body. Use the abdominal exercises to fight off the fat but make sure you're burning the fat by cutting your calories. So the whole truth, whole fact of the matter, you will not get a six pack by just cranking out 100 sit-ups every single day for 30 days, for 60 days. I don't care how many days you decide to do it. You will not get a six pack. Message. So I did this experiment to see if this was even true. Although I knew it was, I still wanted to bring it to you guys and show you. I got the before and I have the after it was not possible. I was able to tighten up the abdominal area and burn off a little bit of fat around my lower abs and my waist. 
that did happen, that did occur, and that was simply because I was in a caloric deficit and I was performing the proper methods in order for me to really obtain a six pack and to sustain the six pack. So I say all this to say, do not do 100 sit-ups every single day. All right, everybody, that's all I have for you. Make sure you guys download the app. I have a lot of workouts on my app, which will help you guys develop your six pack, will help you burn off fat, a lot of follow along exercises. Download the app, it's in the link down below. And also subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Join the team, the X Factor Fitness team. Let's all get shredded, let's keep building muscle, and let's keep getting better every single day. I'm gonna catch you guys in the next one.